is This Is Unique from the YBF.com, and we are at the New York premiere for When Love Kills, and we're about to find out what some of your favorite stars have done in the name of love. Talk about your glow real quick because you have been glowing lately. I want to know the three things that attribute to that glow up. Oh, wow. Um, well, first, I did some transforming internally, you know, as far as just, you know, becoming more mature, stepping into my beauty and being confident about myself, you know. And then second was, um, I don't know, I had a plan, you know. I had, I had a goal, and my goal was, you know, to... Um, to transform my to transform my image and let people see me for who I for, see me the way I see myself and I see myself as glamorous. I feel like I'm the uh, the Diana Ross of my time. You know, my mother was a singer. She was a diva. She dressed really elegantly. And as a younger girl, I, I really like to follow my brothers, uh, which I have five brothers. So I was like a tomboy, and I would wear like my baggy jeans, and I didn't really care about how I looked. So when I came into the industry and wearing like makeup, I would play with makeup and do weird hair and faces. But now it's like I had to stop and ask myself, what do I like? And I think that this is a reflection of that. So have you and your sister ever switched places to trick men for dates? Yes. Well, not for dates. But we did trick Tyler Perry one time while I was filming for better or worse. And she put on my wig and she went on set, learned the lines, and she started acting like Angela. And Tyler was like, cut, cut. Tasha, come here, what's wrong, what's wrong? And she was like, nothing, ain't nothing wrong, Miss Perry. And then he was like, okay, 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 okay. and action. And then after two seconds, he was like, cut, cut. Anyway, it was funny, it was fun. Some words of inspiration you want to give to women that are trying to follow in your footsteps? I would say never give up. You know, make sure you study the craft, first of all. You know, don't, everyone thinks they can just wake up and do something. I think you have to put in the work. You have to work towards the goal, and that means studying. That means getting out there, respecting the craft, and auditioning. What's one of the craziest things you've ever done for love? Craziest thing I've done for love? I think up and moved to a whole different state. Yeah, just, just uprooted everything and moved to a different state. Oh my God, one of the craziest things I ever done for love was chased my, my guy down the freeway doing 100 miles an hour so I could catch up to him and tell him I love him. One of the craziest things I ever done for love is try to date someone that lived in a whole nother country and we only saw each other like twice a month and it worked for like, I would say about six months. The craziest thing I've ever done for love. I think I wore, um, they have these things that are out where it's like a Spanx, but your whole butt is out, and then you lift your butt through it so that you can look like you got a dunk. I did that to try to impress this guy. And we went to a club, and by the end of the night, the, the holes had closed up, and I had a pancake ass. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, I thought that was real. I was like, eh, so one of those. What's the importance of girls hearing this story about Felicia Blake? Oh, it's very important that young women see and hear this story because, you know, in this time, in this day and age, I feel like exotic dancing is really glorified and we see the upsides of it. We see that you can, like Cardi B, become a rapper and be really successful from reality shows and kind of have that opportunity to change your life around. But then there's also this story, which is a based on a true story about a young woman who starts at 16 and by 19, she's serving a three count life sentence in prison for the rest of her life. She's now 34 and she'll still be in there. And when I think about that, and I think about how that impacts my life, just reading the story and then playing the character, it's like, it's overwhelming. And so I know that if, if young women hear and see this movie, it can help prevent, you know, young women from getting in the situation and for those who are already in to make adjustments. Well, I, I feel like this story should be told. I mean, it's a young black girl growing up in the urban community that probably just didn't have the love that she needed and the influence that she needed and she ended up getting caught up in the streets. And I feel like people need to see this because if we don't love our children, the streets will. And I just feel like I wish I knew Felicia, you know, when she was at the road of decision, you know, and maybe I could have helped influence her to not make that decision. So I feel like this movie is for the Felicias of the world.